Hey guys, what's going on? It's Spy Cat, and we're on to another favorite actress who I collect. This actress is one of my favorites, guys and girls. Sally freaking Field. She's the best actress, and she ages the best, I just gotta say. She's like 70 years old. Anyway, I'll start it like I normally started. Sally Field was born November 6, 1946, which makes her 70 years old, and she's from Pasadena, California. And she looks pretty good, even for 70 years old. So you know how this thing goes. I'm going to show you guys the movies that I have of Sally Field in my movie collection. And we'll start from the earliest film role and end it with the latest film role that she's in. Or latest movie that she's in. So, without further ado, here's my Sally Field movie collection. So, we'll start off with the earliest film that she was in that I have in my collection, which is the movie Stay Hungry with Jeff Bridges and Arnold Schwarzenegger. This is actually the very first movie that Arnold Schwarzenegger was in, even before Terminator. She plays the character um, who... She plays the girl who's going out with... Uh, she plays Jeff Bridges' girlfriend in this movie. And I think her name... What's her name in this movie? Oh, Mary. Her name's Mary in this movie. But uh, anyway, this one came out in 1976, and this is the very first earliest movie that I have of uh, Sally Fields. All right, in the next movie, I absolutely love this movie. This one's actually, I think, might be out of print, and it's uh, this movie called Sybil. And she has, she's like, she has like a bunch of different personalities she has in this movie. She's, it's a really trippy movie, man. And this was actually a, uh, if. Yeah, I think it was a TV miniseries. That's why this thing's so long. But to me, it's like a movie. And um, this is a really crazy looking movie. One woman, 13 personalities. The Electrifying True Story. Wow, this is crazy, man. Sally Field has 13 different personalities in this movie, man. I was going to say this is kind of like, like the way I am. But uh, not 13. I probably have a, a few different personalities, but not 13. This is a good movie, man. I really, really enjoyed uh, Sybil. Great movie. And uh, Sybil came out in the same year, 1976. And the next movie I have is uh, Norma Ray. This is a really good movie. This one came out three years after that in 1979. And it actually won an Academy Award. Uh, it actually won... Uh, Sally Field won the Academy Award winner for uh, Best Actress for this movie. Really good movie. I like this one a whole lot. You guys can read what it's about. Yeah, this is a good movie. This kind of reminds me of the um, the uh, North Country movie, too, with uh, Charlie Theron. Uh, next movie I have is uh, Absence of Malice with um, Paul Newman. Absence of Malice is a pretty good movie. I don't remember much about this movie, but it came out a couple years after that in uh, 1981. And the next movie I have is uh, Places in the Heart with John Malkovich and Danny Glover and um, Ed Harris. And this one came out in 1984. This was a good movie, man. I like this one a lot. Good movie about the South. And the next movie I have for you guys is uh, Murphy's Romance. Murphy's Romance is just one of those kind of comedy drama, romantic comedy drama type movies. Uh, James Gardner is in it. And this one came out in 1985. Next movie I have, I really want to find this one on DVD, but I, I just have a hard time finding it on DVD. I don't know if it's not on DVD or what, but um, I want to find this thing on DVD because um. It's just a good movie, and it's a uh, punchline with uh, Tom Hanks and Sally Field. It's kind of different to see Sally Field uh, do be, as a stand-up comedian. She plays a stand-up comedian in this movie with uh, Tom Hanks. It's a really funny movie. Good one. Not a lot of people know about this one. But I got that old-school tape of it. And the next movie I have is actually my personal... <laughs> favorite movie with Sally Field. I've watched this movie a ton of times, and it's not without my daughter. This movie's basically basically about uh, this girl Sally Field plays, um, who's the wife of this, um, of this guy from Iraq, and he kind of tricks her into going with him back to Iraq, and she thinks she's going to come back to America, but it, it's a trick, and he ends up like 
tricking her into going back to Iran or something. Yeah, Iran. Pretty sure it's Iran. And um, she's trapped because the, the, the laws for women in Iran is, is really strict and they don't have any rights. They get treated like crap and uh, the husbands are allowed to like control them and, and beat them and all that stuff. So she's just trying to escape Iran on her own uh, with her daughter. So it's really one of my favorite all-time thriller movies of all time. This is definitely one of my favorite, or this is my favorite Sally Field movie out of, out of all of them. And um, I absolutely love this movie. Great movie, man. This thing, this movie is so freaking awesome, man. And uh, this one came out in 1991. And the next movie I have for you guys is uh, Soap Dish. This is kind of just... Uh, just a comedy movie. This one also came out in 1991. It isn't that good. This I think this is out of print, though. Couldn't tell you much about that one. And she plays Sassy the Cat in uh, Homeward Bound, which came out, uh, I think, uh, this came out two years after Soap Dish in 1993. And uh, like I said, she plays the role of Sassy the Cat. I didn't even notice that till like I looked at this thing. I never tripped that she does play the uh, voice on of Sassy. And the next movie I have is definitely probably my s yeah, probably my second favorite Sally Field movie. But it's more like a, a it's more like a uh, Robin Williams movie. But it's still a great movie, and uh, it's Miss Doubtfire, taking place in San Francisco where I live. And uh, this one came out in 1993. Definitely one of my favorite movies of all time. And um, I even have the uh, behind the scenes edition with a whole bunch of deleted scenes and commentaries and all kinds of special features. And the next movie I have is probably tied with Miss Doubtfire as being one of my favorite movies of all time. And she plays uh, the, mo the mother of uh, Forrest Gump in uh, Forrest Gump, which came out a year after that in 1994. And I have this double disc, uh, thick edition. This is definitely one of my favorite movies of all time. But definitely a great movie. And it actually was won six different Academy Awards, including Best Picture. And uh, that was 1994. And then two years after that, in 1996, she was in another outstandingly great thriller movie. One of my, another one of my favorite movies of all time, which is... Uh, an Eye for an Eye, where uh, Sally Field plays the mother of uh, this, I think she's like 16 or 17-year-old daughter, and Kiefer Sutherland ends up breaking into the house uh, when, Sa when, the, when Sally Field's at work, and he uh, rapes and kills uh, Sally Field's daughter. But for some reason, there's like some problems. They don't have enough evidence or anything, so when they go to court... Uh, Kiefer Sutherland doesn't even get any time in jail, doesn't even get anything. He gets released, and Sally Field isn't having that. So she takes justice into her own hands and tries to make sure that Kiefer Sutherland pays for uh, the rape and the death of uh, her daughter. Great movie. Really a thrilling suspense movie. One of my favorite uh, movies right there. And that was 96. I think I said that, though. And the next movie I have was uh, Homeward Bound 2, Lost in San Francisco. This is definitely one of my favorite movies just because it's in the same city I live in. Um, and she, of course, plays continues to play the role of uh, Sassy. And she's Sassy. <laughs> anyway, the next movie I have uh, is a movie called The Cooler Climate. And this movie, I don't, I haven't seen this m on DVD. I don't know if it is on DVD, but I'm kind of glad that I have just the uh, VHS copy of this. And this one came out three years after uh, Homeward Bound 2, which was 96. This one came out in 1999. And this was actually a uh, TV movie. It wasn't really in the theater, but it was just one of those TV movies. It's a pretty good movie. I don't think a lot of people uh, have even heard of this Sally Field movie, but it's a pretty good movie. I like this one. And the next movie I have came two years after that in 2001. And it's Say It Isn't So. She plays the, um, she plays the mom of Heather Graham in this movie, who, um, kind of wants everybody to think that, um, you know, Heather Graham finds, um, Kevin Klein. I think that's his name. I think that's his name. This guy, the guy that was in American Pie. And then they, they make this big lie that, that 
he's her、uh, brother, and he's really not. And it's just, it's just a great, funny movie, man. Sally Field, Sally Field's pretty funny in this movie. That was two thousand one, and the next movie I have is、uh, Two Weeks, which came out five years after that in two thousand six. Haven't watched this movie yet. I couldn't tell you much about this movie. I have no idea. <laughs> Looks like one of those like comedy drama movies, maybe family type of movies. Looks pretty good. I got to watch this one. And the last movie that I have that Sally Field was in was、um, the movie Lincoln. Lincoln came out.、Um, when did this one come out? This one came out six years after、uh, two two weeks, which came out in two thousand six. So Lincoln came out in two thousand twelve. With Daniel Day Lewis, and、um, she plays the part of、uh, Mary Todd Lincoln. So she plays the wife. I'm guessing. Haven't watched this one yet, but I do have it in my collection, and I'm I, I need to watch this one. But yeah, that was my Salafield movie collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and、um, let me show you guys my favorite picks. So my personal favorite、uh, Salafield flicks out of this whole bundle that I showed you guys, all the movies that I have with Salafield in them. Number one, like I said before, was definitely not without my daughter. The, the way she acts in this movie is just she nails it, and this is one of my favorite movies of all time. Awesome movie.、Um, and of course, second would have to be Forrest Gump, just because that's one of the best movies of all time. And then、uh, Eye for an Eye, I think she does a really good acting job in this one, trying to get find justice for、um, her daughter. And then, of course, this is kind of one not a lot of people talk about that much, but it's Sybil. And、um, like I said, this is where she plays thirteen different、uh, personalities in this movie, so it's great. And then, of course, I can't leave out Miss Doubtfire. As for all those other movies, they're okay. They're good movies. It's Sally Field movies, but they're not like these、uh, my favorite picks that I just showed you guys. Well, that was my Sally Field movie collection, guys. Let me know if there's any Sally Field movies that I'm missing or that、uh, I need to watch. I know she was in Ariel's Beginning,、um, but I don't know. I kind of gave up after the first Little Mermaid watching those movies. And I know she's also in the Ma- The Amazing Spider-Man and The Amazing Spider-Man Two. So, see you guys for the next actor or actress. <laughs>